Hello and welcome to the guide of PPSH41. As pretty much is the case with every guide, I have timestamps for ease of use, so use them as you see fit. The standard build is field adjust sights, field trigger drop and light and bolt. This will be a solid base to work from and is the cheapest decent build. Because of his gun's innate inaccuracy, I recommend getting a mouse in the guns or SVT-40 as a secondary main gun. Badge in this case would be Hoarder Gold. Barrel in the PPSH's case isn't exactly useful because of how low range increase is on the modification. Even though the velocity of PPSH is pretty decent at 436.8. If you bought this gun, don't expect it to be cheap to maintain. Even the standard build is relatively expensive at 6.63 credits per shot. I say expensive because most of the times you are going to be using way more bullets because this gun is not exactly accurate. If you use a Misha bullet instead of a stock bullet, the repairs are going to be 7.79 credits per shot. Another alternative is using the accuracy bullet, which is the most expensive choice coming in at 8.29 credits per shot. Ultimately, the stock bullet will suffice most of the time, but other bullets have unique advantages to them. Honestly, modded bullet builds are a bit of a luxury on this gun. Leonor Misha bullet, for instance, will drop the time to kill to 223.8 milliseconds against heavy set gold, which is a significant drop compared to P41 and stock ammo. However, the handling gets even more messed up and you're paying a premium for it. So, what about the P41 bullet, you might ask? Well, it does make handling better but makes the gun a 5 hit kill weapon against anyone using heavy set, coming in at 298.5 milliseconds. Also keep in mind that the stock ammo and P41 actually needs two shots to the head with most of the heavy sets. So if you have credits to blow, there is some things you can optimize. Just don't bother with Leonov Devil Bullet. PPSH benefits from tight grip and dead eye. These badges help massively with the gun's accuracy and essentially make stock bullets perform very close to P41 bullets. But which one is better, you might ask? From testing, tight grip seemed slightly better, but there isn't much in it, so if you're not planning on having dual primary setups, those are the badges for you. Fast reload in most cases is useless because of the ammo capacity of the gun, and I found that the reload isn't long to justify using it. Obviously, my recommendation would be to get a hoarder and a Pair the PPSH with SVT or most in the gun, but there is problems with field maintenance, so make sure that you have a fallback soldier that you can rely on in those cases. The PPSH handles more like a lower recoil LMG, making striking pretty much an old strategy unless you do minimal inputs or run accuracy badges and P41 bullets. Crouching is usually the strategy to get the most of the gun, because otherwise it's just too inaccurate. Long range shots are really hard and I would recommend to just not bother unless having another gun that can do it. Planking with this gun is massively incentivized because of the massive magazine size, also catching vehicles rushing in between objectives is also pretty fun. But in most cases, dual primary build is pretty much a must. 